This is the interpolation curve you will find on Miku Miku Dance. It doesn't look like much, being a little line, but it does wonders to making your animations look smoother and realistic. What you're looking at are four dances others have made and the tweaking they've done with the interpolation curve in order to make their dances appear seamless and beautiful. What I have here is Miku with the jumping jacks motion that I have made loaded. I haven't touched the interpolation curve yet. Let's watch. Did you notice anything odd? Those jumping jacks were completely seamless without any jerking. Do you think you could do that? No. Because you would need 100% complete body control. When humans do jumping jacks, they jerk on the takeoff and on the landing. Now I'm going to change the interpolation curve three different ways. What this will do is change the consistency of our movements. Imagine hearing a dog bark once every second. That dog is barking consistently. If the same dog barked three times at one second apart, then waited three seconds before barking again, then went back to the barking once every second, that dog will be changing the consistency of his barking. Woof. 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 Now I'm going to drag the line to the extreme bottom right corner of the box. Let's watch. Now I'm going to drag it to the extreme left top corner of the box, and let's watch. And now I'm going to drag one X to the bottom right corner and the other X to the top left corner. What this line is doing is controlling the consistency of your model's movements. What the model is doing is riding that blue line. Picture Miku on a skateboard and look at the blue line and imagine that it's a road. Miku flies downhill fast, hits a level area and slows down, then flies down the next hill. I showed you the extreme case, but now let me show you a subtle change. Could you see the jerk she did when she landed and the jerk she did when she started to jump? Just a little more realistic, and if I were to change it, test it, change it, test it, in time I would get it even more realistic looking. These changes can be made to affect only a certain axis of your model's bones. Notice this drop down box that says all, rotation, x axis, y axis, and z axis. If you select the x axis and interpolate it but leave everything else the same, only that axis is going to be affected and the other axes are going to be smooth with no jerking. This is something that you need to play with by changing the interpolation, watching the animation, changing the interpolation, and watching the animation. Use the copy button to copy the way your interpolation line is and paste it into another registry entry. This is useful if you spent a long time getting the curve just right and you need it to be on other registries, but you don't want to spend all that time trying to get it just right again. As you see me do, using the button that says liner resets the curve to be straight. If the auto adjust box is checked, it will cause the curve if changed to reset if you move the model's bones to re-register them in a different position, so you may want to keep that box unchecked.
Thank you for watching, and congratulations! You now know everything there is to know about the interpolation curve. Happy animating, and take care.